Hello everyone! This is a tutorial on how to use the AMP Monitor dashboard and its features. AMP Monitor is an easy to install cloud based monitoring and tracking software. It is helpful to employers who want to keep track of their employees' activities while working online. To start, open the AMP Monitor dashboard by typing dashboard.ampmonitor.com, then press enter. This will take us to the login page. Enter your login details, so the email and the password. You may click Remember Me. If you want the computer to remember your login details to avoid typing them all over again every time you sign in. And if you forgot your password, click over here to help retrieve it. When you're ready, click the login button. This will bring us to the AMP Monitor dashboard. So here, you can see the number of registered employees. There are 10. The number of online employees. Nobody is online. The number of offline employees. There are also none at the moment. So that means there are 10 absent employees. You can click online, offline, and absent. If you click online employees, a dialog box will open and reveal the list of online employees. You can view their full names, email, location, and department. You can select the number of records to be shown per page by clicking the drop-down button over here. So let's say 15. There's also a search box to help you search for a specific employee. Simply type the name here. No data is available at the moment because no one is online. Same goes with offline employees. For absent employees, since 10 are absent, we can see the details of the 10 employees. So their names, their email, their location, and department. So there are 10 records per page. Let's try searching for a name, let's say John Smith. And now, it's only showing the details of John Smith. Next, you can see the total productivity for today, which is 2.45 hours. You can also see the total non-productive for this day, so that's 0 0.06 hours. Finally, the total number of hours worked in a day this week, which is 1.34 hours. Below, there are four options. The first one is production. Click it to view the production details per employee. So employee Emmett is currently at 100%. He has worked for a number of two hours. At the top, you can click the drop down button over here to select the duration, which is either a week or a month. For location, we have all, or we can also click the drop down button to choose Bangalore, for example, and specify the department. For other locations, such as New York and Chicago, no data is found because the only employee who has used the AMP monitor for this week is from Bangalore. So Amit is from Bangalore. Next, we have location. Click it to view the average work hours per location. For Bangalore, it's at 1.2 hours. Again, for duration, you can select either a week or a month. Then the location is Bangalore only at this time. No data found for other location. So for Bangalore, it's at 100%. Next is active days where you can see which days the employees are most active. According to the data, one employee was present on Monday and Tuesday. So that's 50% for Monday and another 50% for Tuesday. So at the top, we have the same options, select duration, location, and department. Finally, we have presence, where you can view how often the employees are present. Again, we only have Bangalore for now, and the present rate for Bangalore is 29. Again, at the top, you can select the duration, the location, and the department. 
let's go back to the top. You can click over here to view your profile or log out. Let's click profile. So not only can you see your profile details, you may also edit them. First, you can change your profile picture by clicking the browse button over here. Select a picture, let's say this one for example. Click open and it's successfully uploaded. You may also change your username over here and your password. So first type your current password, then type your new password over here and type it again. When you're done, click the update button over here to save the changes. So the profile pic was successfully updated. Let's click the dashboard button to return to the home page. On the upper right side, you can view your messages by clicking the envelope button. So it will take us to our mailbox where you can see your messages. At the moment, we have no data because we have no messages. If you receive a message, you can see the email of the sender, the error code, and the action button, which will allow you to delete messages. Let's click the dashboard button over here again to go back to the home page. So for the last one, you can also log out by clicking the log out button over here. And you're successfully logged out. And that's it for the AMP Monitor dashboard tutorial. There are other AMP Monitor tutorials, so be sure to check them out. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.